All right, I am surrounded by pomegranates. Let's talk details. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here again uh, on this short series we're doing on pomegranates here in the Arizona desert. So we have another uh, variety of pomegranate for you here. This one is angelic. <laughs> it is the angel red pomegranate, which is what you're gonna see right behind me here. Uh, so what I do wanna make sure I do is I wanna link our pomegranate series. I'm gonna do that right here. So you can take a look at all the different pomegranates that we have here and the reviews that we're doing on these pomegranates. Uh, where I am here with this angel red, uh, this angel red pomegranate uh, is about two years old. Um, so it's been in the ground for two years. Um, it was actually, I believe we got this one from, again, either Lowe's or Home Depot. Got it as a very, very small pot. I think this one was actually a one gallon pot. Tiny, tiny, just basically a small stick. And in a couple years, it has grown fantastic. Uh, we're back here up against our western wall. So Lori's actually leaning against that wall, which is where our passion fruit trellis is here. And I'll link that video here so you can kind of get an idea of where we're at. Uh, but we're up here right up against this wall um, and we're facing west. Um, so I'm looking west at this point. This is the eastern side. And this tree is actually surrounded by other trees. So it's really kind of hidden back in here. Uh, what you can't see behind it would be our Barbados cherry. Uh, we've got our wonderful pomegranate. If Lori wants to look to that side there, um, and back pretty much completely hidden because it just matches everything else is our Austin pomegranate, uh, which is actually the video we'll be doing next. So that's kind of where we're at here on the farm. Uh, so very, very warm. Uh, it, gets, it gets a little bit of protection from the wind, um, but honestly, you know what? It almost seems like these trees do better just in full blazing sun and <laughs> in the elements, uh, but still doing well. So a couple things about the angel red pomegranate. Uh, first one would be um, its skin color. So much, much lighter overall when it's growing and developing. Um, the other pomegranates have um, kind of a darker pigment to the skin. Uh, and then what we should see when we open one of these will be a slightly lightly, slightly lightly, <laughs> a more lightly colored aerial that uh, the actual um, fruit that you eat around the seed uh, should be a little lighter color. So we'll see how that is once we get to actually opening one of these up. A couple things that I want to show you. We've talked a little bit about um, how we cover these to keep, protect them from birds. We had to do the same thing with this. Uh, so we actually use organza bags. I'll link one of our videos here that talks about that. In fact, I think we did it with our Austin pomegranate. So you can see how we cover them. However, we do get a secondary fruit set, um, which is what you're seeing here. So these smaller fruit, there's a trio of them here. Um, this fruit and all of our pomegranates actually set fruit twice. Um, so it flowers and sets fruit twice. These small pomegranates, in fact, that's open. Mm, we got a sneak peek at <laughs> what some of these are going to look like. Um, but you can actually see here um, how these open up. We'll talk about that in a sec. But uh, ultimately, this. so what this is, this is actually the secondary fruit set. This is not the primary fruit, fruit set um, and flowering that occurs in the, in the spring. This happened in the fall. These actually flowered a month or two ago and turned into this fruit, which you can see is actually now starting to ripen. Uh, but much, much smaller as far as the fruit size is concerned. Um, but one of the things that you'll see here, this is what happens with pomegranates. They they naturally will split open when they're fully ripe, opens up nice and wide, splits completely open, drops its fruit on the ground and those seeds go on the, on the ground and can germinate and turn into basically this pomegranate forest we got going on here. So you can see how that would happen. So what I want to do, I did see one earlier that's from the, uh, the first fruit set in the spring. I'm going to have Lori follow me around. We got a good size one, in fact, doing the exact same thing here in our organza bag and a lot nicer size, nice and heavy fruit. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Let's take a look at it. So the fruit itself, from a size standpoint, you can see, wow, look at that, that is so cool. Uh, but it's about the size of a softball, right? Right between, maybe a smaller softball, you know, they come in different sizes. Uh, so about the size of a, a smaller softball, you can see it's actually starting to split, which is already telling us that we know it's ripe. Uh, when the fruit is ready to, um, well, start splitting, it starts to dry up just a little bit here. And you can see the skin turns much darker color. Um, this is actually getting closer in color to some of our other pomegranates, still just a little bit lighter. But what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and open open this up. Let's take a look at how the rest of the fruit looks. Okay, so angel red pomegranates. Let's see how this one looks. So again, we usually tend to juice these more than anything. So I'm going to cut this more horizontally. Um, so that's the fruit itself. I'm going to cut it this way. So let's go ahead and cut this open and see how 
it looks. You can see much, much lighter color, okay? So this fruit probably could have gone another couple weeks uh, before we picked it, but I'm gonna go up here where I've got some slightly darker ones and let's get a couple of them out, see what these taste like. All right, so definitely lighter skin uh, or lighter aerial, so it's not quite as dark. So that pigmentation, that's the stuff that gives um, pomegranates a great antioxidant capacity. But you can see the seeds here, a little bit lighter. So again, we probably could have left it on the tree for a couple more weeks. Um, but uh, I wanna go ahead and taste these because my understanding with Angel Reds is the seeds themselves are supposed to be softer. And I'm not a big fan of eating seeds from pomegranates. I usually spit them out. Um, but they're supposed to be a little softer. So let's try this out. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. Wow. That's really good. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So, the seeds, for sure, they are definitely softer than a typical pomegranate seed. Usually, pomegranate seeds, man, they're hard. You just want to spit them right out. These guys here, mm -mm. not going to have to do that. So, you can just eat them. I mean, they're, they're just smashing right up. So you don't have that hard seed that you typically do in a, a store-bought pomegranate, which is usually a wonderful pomegranate. So definitely a softer seed, um, and it's not bitter. The seeds sometimes are bitter when you try to chew on them. These are not bitter, which is really kind of nice. That's a nice change. And then as far as the flavor, so the flavor does taste like a pomegranate. It's not as tart, um, definitely more sweet than tart. Very, very little tart to that seed. Uh, and again, no bitterness from the seed itself. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely more, more sweet, very, very little tart. Um, wish it was a little darker red. I think we're gonna let those go for another couple of weeks before we try to harvest more to try to get a little more of that red pigment in there because we want that antioxidant because uh, that's fantastic for your body uh, to help with uh, your immune system, which is really what we want. Heart health etc they talk about all those other different things but that dark deep red color is really what we're looking for so probably let it go a little bit longer but man you know what that is really good so I just want to thank you for joining us today. You know what, if you haven't done so already, hey, subscribe to our channel. You know, we got a lot of really cool content coming up. I'm gonna link our 100th episode here where we talk about where we're going with the farm. We're gonna be moving on to a six acre piece of flat, raw desert land, turning that into a functioning farm and really greening up the desert. Would love it if you would follow us for that. And hey, you know what, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section down below. You know, one of the things that Lori and I really enjoy doing is interacting with you guys in this YouTube format really gives us a great opportunity to do that. And hey, you know what, if you haven't done so already hey follow us on instagram and facebook uh, you know we put a lot of content up on there that you won't see here on the youtube format we'll love it if you would follow us there as well so i just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere so can you you know the movie aliens when that alien dude opens his mouth and he opens it and then like another one comes out and it get, like gets bigger and bigger or um, little shop of horrors where that one dude or like the, the the plant itself that comes alive and like wants to eat everybody like opens up its uh, mouth and like wants to clamp down on stuff i don't know that's what it reminds me of at least